1986, when you were a part of the ABVP, you were targeted by the Naxalites. And what problem we see today in India is almost non-existent because we've grown up in a phase where even the UPA and the NDA governments have continuously uh, booted out the Naxals from Chhattisgarh and Andhra Pradesh. But you grew up at a time when shots were fired directly at you and 18 pellets are still in your body from Naxals. For our younger audience who do not know about this, can you please tell the trauma that you went through? First, I would like to um, uh, explain how I was initially, I was studying my graduation in Warangal. Warangal was the hotbed of Naxalites and uh, it was the uh, epicenter of their entire leadership and activity. So in that Warangal, definitely there was nobody who was confronting and even police force uh, was not aware of the, and the uh, kind of ideology they were preaching and they were not aware of, uh, and they were not equipped also to face Naxalites in those days, right. in 1980s and special force and special combat force and all these forces uh, these the creations are after, you know uh, the, uh, afterwards those things and i was you know in the process of building a resistance movement among the students and youth uh, starting from towns to villages in the varangal district and in north telangana uh, at that time i became target in varangal and some of my colleagues I have lost uh, in the process, got killed. And ultimately, organization leadership thought I should change my work uh, place from Warangal to Usmania University, Hyderabad. Right. So they, I got shifted. Uh, in, and then I became Union General Secretary, Student Union of Usmania University. Uh, again, the same story on the campus. They were uh, holding a monopoly of sorts. Uh, uh, and uh, they were also a challenge to everybody. So in such a situation, nationalist movement, ABVP, uh, you know, picked up momentum and we became more popular. And under, you know, when I was general secretary, we started winning more seats. And in the process, again, they targeted me. And in 1986, after finishing my lunch in the mess, hostel mess, I came out. Uh, with two or three of my closest friends and uh, a squad. Normally, they constitute a squad to eliminate a, a you know, targeted person, class enemy, and they do perfect intelligence work and all, and they track the person where uh, that person goes and all. They track, and they track for sometimes months and years, and they right. prepare a diary on, based on that. So they plan of, uh, you know, they plan this execution based on this entire intelligence work. So after I came out of the mess, after finishing my lunch, the squad was uh, ready and searching. So they fired me at point blank. So after that, again, there was, a, you know, they um, fired again and they threw one or two homemade bombs. And then I, after, uh, you know, I fell down and I again, uh, I got up and uh, I started running towards the police station where it was. So naturally, the squad chased me for 100, 150, 200 meters, thinking that I will collapse and uh, I will not be able to run. So after uh, seeing that I am now going uh, towards police station direction, so they thought it is not better to chase further. So they retreated. So that way, then I went to police station. From there, I... Uh, got one sub inspector, no vehicle was there. Then we got auto, and I went to uh, nearby very big uh, government hospital, uh, Gandhi Hospital. There I got admitted. So that way, uh, uh, you know, some of the pellets uh, uh, from my body, which were in the danger area, they removed immediately. And uh, the doctors mm, left certain pellets, which uh, were not, uh, of course, they are in the surrounding muscles of heart, but uh, they thought it is not so dangerous and difficult to remove. So they left those pellets. So that way I carry the pellets as souvenirs. Please remember to subscribe to us and switch on the notifications for this channel. 
for our other social media links, more content and to support our work. Please visit cittti.net. Dhanyavad. Namaskar.